Good morning, students. Welcome to Chanakya Academy online session. Today, as a part of Social Science Standard Nine, I will be teaching you Geography, Chapter Thirteen. First of all, let us start. What is geography? Geography is a branch of social studies, which deals with different types of locations of specific countries or region the lifestyle of the people the vegetation grows over there and all different types of landforms all availabilities of natural resources wildlife and so many things that make that particular place either densely populated or thinly populated so in geography we have different chapters like Location, geological structure and physiography, part one, part two, drainage system, climate, natural vegetation, wildlife, India, human lifestyle, disaster management. Today I will be teaching you chapter thirteen, India, location, geological structure, and physiography. First, let us understand what do mean by geological structure. Geological structure are different types of landforms like plateaus, plain, rivers. We have desert areas, mountain areas, coastal areas. So all this and form different forms of land, soil. All this makes geological structure and physiography. Physiography means physical geography that is available in India. So India is one of the greatest. countries in the world it is a very vast country with various types of cultures that have flourished in india from time to time india is having a very old culture and heritage india has diverse climatic conditions various land type landforms different types of rivers lakes ponds vast coastal area uh greatest himalayan range that starts from jammu kashmir to say arunachal pradesh so in short india is a unique country having diverse geographical structure and different types of landforms india is one of the south eastern countries it has established its trade relations with various different countries of the world the neighboring countries of india are pakistan afghanistan nepal bangladesh china bhutan burma that is myanmar sri lanka india location size and area india belongs to northern hemisphere and it is a south Asian country, which extends from eight degree to thirty seven degrees north latitude and sixty eight degree seven minutes to ninety seven degrees twenty five east longitudes. We know that Tropic of Cancer passes through the center, that is, from the part of Gujarat up to Assam, and it divides India into two equal divisions. Also. we know that this particular tropic of cancer it is passing near by mataka mot area and we have also come across this particular place when we move towards mataka mot in india we have one of the greatest himalayan range that extends from jammu kashmir to arunachal pradesh in the east it is one of the greatest mountain range and the highest mountain peak that is mount everest is present in nepal and one more thing that there is a peninsula plateau eastern plains and narrow coastal areas with which india is divided size wise if we compare then from kashmir to kanyakumari india is having 
3214 that is 3214 kilometers length and from Gujarat to Arunachal Pradesh the width is 2933 kilometers as the difference between Gujarat and Arunachal Pradesh is so much this makes that there is a variation of time gap of two hours it means that when Arunachal Pradesh is having morning at seven o'clock then Gujarat is having five o'clock in the morning so this is a time gap which it means that because of the differences in the place from west to east and because of this difference there's a variation of two hours one more example like when it is sunrise in Arunachal Pradesh it is still night in Gujarat so this makes it clear that there's a difference of two hours from Arunachal Pradesh to Gujarat means from east towards west the difference increases we also know that 82.3 that is longitude east longitude which passes through Allahabad is Indian Standard Time so it determines Indian Standard Time that is five and a half hour difference from Greenwich Mean Time that is International Standard Time and 82.5 82.3 degree east longitude that passes through Allahabad is Indian Standard Time it suggests that it is the local time and the time that is present at Allahabad will be applicable to west and the east of that particular longitude and that's why it is termed as a standard meridian of whole India this is a physical map of India it shows the latitude and the longitudinal division of India if you start from southern tip of India it is 8 degree 4 minutes up to Jammu and Kashmir that is 37.6 degree now from Gujarat that is 68.7 degrees from Gujarat up to 97 degree 25 minutes so this is the overall distance from west to east and number of kilometers from Gujarat to Arun Arunachal Pradesh is 2933 kilometers and 3214 kilometers is the total length from Jammu and Kashmir to Kanyakumari in the south so this indicates the overall length as well as the width of India moreover total area of India is 32.8 lakh square kilometers and India ranks seventh in the world in terms of area the other big countries than India are first Russia Canada USA China Brazil and Australia so all these countries are having area more than India this figure shows us different locations and surrounding places near India so we are having in the east Myanmar then comes Bangladesh Nepal as we move towards north we are having Tibet and China on the west side we are having just close to India it's Pakistan thereafter we have Afghanistan then in the west side we are having Arabian Sea in the south we are having Lakshadweep Island that is also part of India in the southern part we are having Sri Lanka as our neighboring country along with Indian Ocean and in the east side we are having Bay of Bengal 
so all this different types of physiographical areas surrounds india it includes great himalayan range in the north to east mountain area in the east part coastal areas from gujarat to west bengal and there are different types of mountain areas plain regions river plain regions desert areas throughout india and in this diagram all this physical as well as physiographical locations make india a good and a better trade place there are so many international trade places in india and india is connected to various other countries in asia as well as in other parts of the world we are having many great trading centers like mumbai chennai hyderabad kolkata delhi ahmedabad who are internationally connected because of our trade relationships as well as our great culture heritage as geographically india holds a very nice place and a very suitable place for trade relationships with different countries we are having india with we are having trade relations with east africa west asia south asia and southeast asia from ancient times and there is a cultural and commercial influence because of our location moreover india has a long maritime boundary it means that because of long coastal areas so many waterways are useful for trade purpose with african countries european nations with australia japan north america south america so india is at a suitable locations having moderate climate that makes it more suitable for the people to live as well as to establish more trade relationships because of its natural resources availability are you familiar with suez canal okay let me explain you in the map at the extreme left you can find egypt as a country just above that you will find suez canal so suez canal was established in 1869 and with the development of this canal the trade between european nations african nations american nations started with india because 7000 kilometers were reduced and this impacted a good income to western countries with india so suez canal I mean because of the development of suez canal india has prosper in business and the waterways through indian ocean and arabian sea sea has developed well and india has maintained good relationships with all the western countries of the world india has a rich culture heritage ramayan upanishads mahabharat vedas so india is having a great cultural influence in south asian countries and because of our rich culture and heritage many countries are attracted towards india both to exchange their ideas as well as to have good relationships from business front recently we know that article 370 was revoked in jammu and kashmir and because of that jammu and kashmir is now dissolved into two union territories that is jammu and kashmir and ladakh so now at present 
India is having 28 states and 9 union territories. I am repeating again that because of application of 370 article, Jammu and Kashmir state is dissolved into two union territories that is Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh and because of that India at present have 28 states and 9 union territories.